I said, I said, what in tarnation is this? Well, this thing, my bobber, goes right there on that thing, my bobber, just like so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And then this thing, my bobber, right here, goes on that thing, my bobber. Yeah, buddy. Well, YouTubers, welcome back. Tyler here and again today. We are working on the Turd Box S10, Mr. Sparkles, and Mr. Sparkles now has a new hood, normal hole in the hood, and it's gonna have a new breather. And I made that little smoothing radius just because I could. You know, that might not help that much, maybe like two, three horsepower, if that. It's gonna cause less turbulence going into the carburetor, so now hit the choke tower. But it's not just one mod that helps out. It's a series of mods that helps out to give your car more overall power. And Faster Proms is a very good example of this. He's talking about just little things of efficiency that help to make a bigger picture. And basically, that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna do some tuning. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So I'm gonna put this guy on here real quick, show you how it's working, close the hood so you can see how it's looking. And then we're gonna go for some pulls because number two and number seven is running leaner than the rest of the cylinders. And I'll show you how to correct that at least we're going to try to correct that i'll say that much so we have a nice aftermarket high flow filter on now we have this drop base design breather which lowers it down because i still needed more space even with a four inch cow hood i didn't go to the fiberglass one because it was 700 bucks this metal one was only 37 pounds which is not bad and after you have to cut out you know, I don't know why they don't leave a, a spot in there for you for your filter, but they don't, so you have to cut that out. So let's go ahead and put this on here. And you notice this actually helps direct the air going into the carburetor too. And this exact same drop base design was featured in a engine masters episode on a big block Chevy, and it only killed like 8.9 horsepower, nine horsepower from 750 horsepower motor. So on my little 357 cubic inch motor it shouldn't even know there is a filter on there i'll never ever peek that out so you're probably asking yourself well how do you know number two and number seven are running leaner than the other ones because you only have one Y band that reads an entire bank. Well, you have to do this the old fashioned way, guys. You get it as close as you can with the wide band to where you know that it's not gonna hurt the motor, then do some full pulls, and then after your full pull, you immediately shut the motor down and then you pull plugs. And what I discovered was, and you have to put new plugs in for this, by the way, too. What I discovered was number two and number seven had some bluing going on. And bluing is when the metal gets hot, and you, you, you probably all seen this, you get something hot, and a little bit of it looks blue, a little bit looks discolored, and that was the color I was having on the tips, just those two plugs, which indicates that those two cylinders are running hotter than the rest. So what I'm gonna do to fix this, and I did find an old bang shift, um, like um, not an episode, they had a video online, and then I found the actual article you know, in the interwebs, and what they did is they actually had to jet up and there's it's funny because they they had their motor and number one i'm sorry number two was actually running lean and they actually had to jet up uh four jet sizes on the front primaries on this bank going down right here to get to evil even out so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go probably just three sizes on that one and on the back, it was just barely starting to blue, so I'll probably, you know, I'll probably go three sizes on the back one too. We'll make a pull. I will pull two and seven and look at them again to see if we have corrected that problem. Let's get to it.
All right, so number seven is fine, but number two is definitely still hot. So if I can't, I'm gonna go up a couple more jet sizes. I went up three this time, maybe that wasn't enough. I'm gonna go up two more on this primary right here. I'm also gonna check the idle mixture. Maybe I had the idle mixture right here really low and it's happening during idle. But number seven looks good. And number two definitely is still hot. And I'll take a picture with my phone and pop it up right here so you can see it. And if you're wondering what's going on with the tips of my spark plugs, I actually round them off on the belt sander. When you have like all motor poles and you're, you know, just testing your tune up and seeing what's going on. And I really like these cheap copper core plugs. They're not too hot when you have a higher compression street motor and they're very, very inexpensive. So when you're pulling them and putting another one in there, you're not really taxing yourself that much. And you can see the belt standard. What I do is I just kind of just eh, eh, on the edge and get it so it's nice and rounded on the edges. And then I'll polish it up using the little Dremel tool right there. And it really doesn't take that long. It takes about 30 seconds to plug. And what it does, it keeps it from maybe getting any hot spots on the edge right there that these square grounding straps might do. Or, you know, and it also exposes the spark to the combustion chamber just a little bit, little bit more. Does it really help a whole bunch? I don't know. Does it make me feel better? Definitely. the verdict is that is definitely looking better um, that's a big spread I got right now that's like three four five sizes on this one it looks like it's helping but I think I'm gonna pull the timing back a little bit because maybe the timing is just too hot and you always tune to your leanest plug so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try another one I'm gonna pull a couple degrees of timing out and maybe that'll fix it completely All right, so I made a couple more pulls off camera and interestingly enough, believe it or not, um, the GoPro died, I'm charging it now. But uh, when I took more timing out, the bluing on the plug got hotter. So why do you, is more fuel and less timing making it blue a little more or get hotter on the tip of that plug? So here's my theory. All right, so here is a spare LT1 head that I have laying around. And on this chamber, I have a non-projected tip. If you look right in there, you can see a tip isn't projected out. And on this side, I have a projected tip. Now, I don't know what orientation that plug is in. It could be here, you know, it could be there. But uh, I'm guessing after all this work, maybe it's not running, you know, that lean. A little more fuel did seem to help it. But when you retard timing, the burn happens later and you can see how close on the LT1 that they stick these spark plugs right next to the exhaust port because these are fast burn heads. And I'm guessing is that when I retarded the timing, the burn happened a little later. So the flame front's hitting the tip of that and what's making it glow more. So what I'm gonna try, and if this works, that's probably what it is. I put a non-projected tip in there, which pulls the tip back farther from the flame front as it exits the cylinder head. So we're gonna make a pull like that. And we're actually gonna try that out. And also, let me bring up one more thing here real quick. I also pulled off my smoothing radius and did it with no smoothing radius, just in the event that maybe my smoothing radius was causing that one cylinder to do what it was doing, and it wasn't. Um, I definitely think the smoothing radius has happened as, as helping because I did have less throttle response with that setup versus this setup. And just out of curiosity, I screwed the plug in and put a mark on it. So let's uh, pull it out and we can see exactly what orientation the grounding strap is in. So that's where it was at. And as best as I can tell, that's how that grounding strap was uh, positioned in there. So we're gonna try, like I said before, that non-projected tip and see our results. Well, 
that pretty much says that. Now looking at the plug, it looks like the timing is actually retarded on this plug. I mean, it looks like I can probably give it three or four more degrees. By now I have, I have, I just had 30 in it. I think with this motor, the way it is now, with the compression it has on pump gas, I think it's gonna like the uh, non-projected tips. A little better than the projected tips. I was trying to save money, but sometimes you just gotta go with what the motor wants. So I just went to Advanced Auto Parts and I bought all of their BR7EFs for my LT1. So if you're going to Advanced Auto Parts to get those, your SOL. So, what did we learn today? There is indeed such a thing as a wrong and a right spark plug for your application. And it just goes to show if you have the wrong spark plug in there, you may go around in circles chasing your own tail trying to figure out why one cylinder looks leaner than the other when the chances are it might not be leaner than the other cylinders just because you're using the wrong spark plug. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, bell for notifications, and until next time, peace, peace, peace.